This is the recipe for stir fried quinoa. And these are the ingredients we need for one cup of quinoa. First, we need to cook the quinoa by adding two cups of water, either in a covered pan or in a pressure cooker. If it's a pressure cooker, just one whistle is enough. We let it rest for five minutes and then fluff it up with a spoon or a fork. We can now get the orange zest ready. So I am grating the skin of the orange and we have got the zest now. We heat oil in a pan, add cumin seeds and sunflower seeds, stir that for a half a minute, then add the chopped onion, chopped chili and saute for a minute till the raw flavor of the chili is gone. Then we can add the ginger garlic paste and saute for another minute. Now we go on to add the chopped vegetables. The choice of vegetables is totally up to us. I have added carrot, beans, corn kernels and red capsicum. Now we add salt as required and saute and let the vegetables cook for about 3 to 5 minutes. Ever since the time I added uh, orange zest to one of my uh, dishes, I have been wanting to try it in other dishes as well. So we are adding orange zest to our stir fried quinoa today. So we mix that in. This doesn't have to cook for long. We can immediately add the cooked quinoa and mix that well. Uh, it's here it's important to take care not to mash the quinoa. Quinoa is a rich source of fiber and proteins and it is relatively more filling than other grains that we usually consume. So using quinoa once in a while can be a healthy substitute for our regular meal. And there our under 30 minute stir fried quinoa is ready. As you might know quinoa is filled in protein and fiber. It's also very filling so when you're looking at portion control it's a good alternative. In this particular uh, stir-fried recipe, I've used quinoa instead of rice, making it a healthy and balanced meal.